My name's Paul Player and I'm a biomedical scientist. My job involves a variety of different things. For example, on the transfusion side, we provide patients with, um, with blood for a variety of different reasons, be it a liver transplant or um, a massive road traffic accident. In the other side of the haematology, we would look at illnesses and, and, and see how treatments affect in their, their blood and the different indices that are involved in that and also or helping clinicians to diagnose things like leukaemia, for example. We, we have a sort of some separation from, from patients, but I wouldn't say for, for a minute that there isn't the sort of the pressure and urgency that you can feel really from, from the wars and from, say, accident and emergency and in theatres. But I think you do need that detachment because of, otherwise you, you couldn't really do your job. You know, you need to, you need to be quite focused and need to, to know really what, you know, what, what you're doing and be able to provide a service. I, I had a great time at school. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a, you don't want to do, you don't want to have to do work, and you don't want to have to do homework or exams. But you know, you look back when you're at university and you wish you were still there. <laughs> I loved playing sport. I played played football and cricket. I played to you know a good level when I when I was younger. I played um, for Chelsea, uh, Crystal Palace, Brighton Hove Albion football academies. Playing when you're playing at a level like that to to, to get noticed, you're competing against somebody else rather than playing together is possibly uh, nicer to sometimes enjoy the sports rather than take them to a professional level. My, my mum is, uh, is a nurse and I used to be fascinated by the stories that she would tell me um, about what she did in the hospital and I sort of, I sort of realised from an early age that I, I did want to work in a hospital and um, I, did, I subsequently chose my GCSEs according to that. I, I had a big setback I suppose in, in my, my A-levels. Really I think the step from, step up from GCSE to A-levels is, is big um, and I didn't make the transition particularly well and I didn't do as well in my A-levels as I should have done. You know I got allowed into university actually based on my, my GCSE results and my predicted grades and they said well you know we'll give you a, a go. I think really I, I, I was good at science at school so I just followed it on. I had an idea I wanted to work in a hospital but I didn't know in what capacity. I did a degree in biomedical science and um, that was a really a gen a generic degree which can take you down a sort of whole variety of different avenues. Um, you don't have to become a biomedical scientist, you can, you can diversify if that's what you wanted to do. And to be honest, I started the degree without the knowledge of this job even existing. It's something that I, I, I learned about a lot later on, actually, after my, in my first year at university. I had an opportunity to work for a year in, in a variety of different placements and I chose um, to work in a, in a, in a hospital. And, um, you know, I, I happened to fall into the job as a biomedical science, trainee biomedical scientist for that year. A lot of people don't realise actually actually goes on, but what a vital service it provides to a hospital. My mum got diagnosed with breast cancer, and I'd say that that was probably the hardest thing because you feel so so out of control. And I think that that's what obviously led me to be interested in medicine as well. It was you know a big shock for the whole family. I, I would I would say. It, while it was, was, was a bad point, at the same time it was incredibly inspirational to see what went into the delivery of, of her care. It makes you, things like that make you appreciate the, the service you work for, um, for sure. And I think that, you know, that, that those moments were sort of times where you realise actually, you know, I, I would quite like to work for the NHS. You know, when you see something for real in front of you, that's sort of, I think I take my inspiration from that. The most stressful moment, I think, was it was a couple of months ago, four or five people were injured quite severely in a massive road traffic accident. They, they needed blood. It's, it's incredibly stressful knowing that if you don't deliver, that potentially that patient may not survive. In the middle of those things, you, you, you think, God, I, I wish I, just, I could be in bed now and waking up in the morning to go into a nice, you know, nice office with you know, not a lot of stress. But I think um, when you look back in retrospect, um, I, don't, I don't regret the job choice for a minute um, because it is, it is very it's, it's fascinating and in the middle of the night working in transfusion it's an incredible adren adrenaline buzz when you you know when you get a phone call saying you know, this is what's happened and you know we're waiting for a patient to arrive in A&E.